Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Today we're going to take a look at ServiceNow and one of the features that I really like, which is the cab workbench. Um, and the reason I like it is it just makes doing your change management meetings a lot easier. It helps kind of facilitate it. Um, so it's not, it makes it less of a manual process since your changes are already, well, should be in ServiceNow already if you're using the tool, um, assuming you do change management, then it kind of grabs that information for you. And so let's go ahead and take a look. We're not gonna go too deep into it. It'll just be kind of a brief. But the first thing I'm gonna do is type in cab. And then I wanna see all my cab definitions. Now, this is just a demo environment. And so I, I do have one here, it's just demo data. It has the network cab. Uh, in it here, we can see who the cab manager is. We can also see the delegates. Now, these are gonna be important because these are the people that can actually run the uh, run the cab from the cab workbench. If they're not listed here, they don't have the right permissions, they won't be able to run it. Uh, at the top, we can also see that the application is in the change management cab workbench application. Currently, as you see, I'm in global. So if I wanted to edit it, I would want to change to this application first. Uh, I don't want to edit it, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. It does have, you can have uh, a board group or board members. So the people that would be attending, um, however you do your change management. The cab type, uh, time zone, locations. Um, let's see, down here, agenda management. This is more of that kind of cool stuff. You have this notification lead time. So when a person is the owner of a change, or the assigned to of the change, um, they are going to receive a notification. And so this is letting them know, or basically setting up when should they receive a notification. So they don't have to be in the meeting the entire time. They only have to be in the meeting for discussing their change, if that's how you'd like to do it. And in this case, this will tell you that one agenda item before theirs then they should be getting the notification to come in. Time for agenda item, 10 minutes. Uh, so this is the how long you want to spend per change, basically. You don't have to stick to this, but it's whatever you would like. And, and you can get an, an average kind of thing. Uh, you can use filter criteria to drive your date range for the changes. Automatically add your change request to the agenda. Uh, complete pre-approved changes. So these might be your standard changes that are pre-approved. And so what you can do is so you don't have to see those in the agenda, you can set it so that it doesn't. Change request additional conditions. This is where you can set basically what are the types of changes that I want to see in my change in my cap. Uh, and so setting those is going to be important to make sure that you filter in correctly. The scheduled entries here, uh, but the, what I want to focus on here is the cat meetings. And I did create one for today and we'll actually show what it looks like from the other side. Uh, I just wanted to show this uh, first. So this, I selected the cat manager as Fred here. Uh, just put in the name of network cab show. It's currently in the state of pending. Meeting starts, uh, well, started eight minutes ago and goes into tomorrow. Did add a couple of agenda items here as well. You can uh, go to this meeting in the cab workbench right here through this related link. I'm gonna actually impersonate Fred first here. And then I'm going to go to cab, cab workbench. Click on the cab for today. Click open. So what we took a look at before, that was kind of the, the a, a quick run through of the back end stuff, right? Now we're taking a look at what does it look like when I actually run a cab meeting? So Fred is the cab manager. This is what he's gonna see. Uh, in general, this is what the rest of the people are gonna see as well. They're gonna, the only thing they won't see is the start meeting. You must be a delegate or the cab manager to see this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this meeting. 
the first agenda item automatically pops up. I can read it if I haven't yet. As the cab manager, I assume I've read it already. Let's see the different phases here, the change, the planning, and the schedule. You can also take a look at the calendar. So it doesn't look like it's going to fall on a maintenance window uh, or a blackout schedule. So this change looks like it's OK. Assuming that I accept the risk, we can see it's a high risk. So you would have some discussion on it. Uh, whoever it's assigned to, this in this case, the ITIL user would likely be present is following your practices. You can approve or reject it. You can also demote it, which means it'll go to the bottom of the list if you want to talk about it at a later time in the meeting. So we're going to go ahead and click approve. It'll ask you to put in comments before you finally approve it. And those comments are saved, so you can go back and see those as well. And we'll give it here just a minute. And we're going to go ahead and click Next. Yes, I would like to move to the next one. So we can see down here, it says pending and send item. Since that one's been approved, it is no longer pending. I do have the ability to change this to all agenda items if I want to see everything, my agenda, and users will as well be able to see this. So once again, we can see the change, we can see the planning stage as well as the schedule. We can open up the calendar. We can also open, get a better view of it here. This takes a minute to load and this will be the full change then. So you can go ahead and click through the, the same tabs. Uh, this will have, contain a little more information. You'll be able to see the notes tab, the closure information, which shouldn't have anything yet if you're viewing it in cab, as well as the related links down, uh, as well as the other tabs down here. The affected CIs, you can see the related links if you wanted to, the task SLAs, those kind of things. So really what the CAD Workbench does, it just, like I said in the beginning, it helps to facilitate your change management meetings, makes things go a lot smoother. You can have it set up so that it automatically sends emails. It automatically creates the agenda based on the decisions that you make. Uh, so it's really a powerful item within ServiceNow. That's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day.